Hello everyone, we are continuing our series on the images of God, and I am talking tonight about image number 74. God, the one who searches every part of me and points out what I need to do to restore relationship and enjoy life with God. And I'm going to read uh, from Psalms 139, and I'm going to read verses 23 and 24 just to give us full context, and this is from the New Living uh, Translation. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. Point out anything in me that offends you and lead me along the path of everlasting life. You know, relationships are such that they can be sometimes like a roller coaster, right? There are the ups, the downs, and then there's that, you know, just that the monotonous part where it's just kind of not doing, you know, either the ups or the downs, but just kind of gets blah. And our relationship with God can be just like that. Sometimes we're really thick with him and just enjoying his presence. Other times we're just uh, kind of in a, a, a valley and we sometimes feel like, I don't even know where you are, God. And then sometimes it just gets kind of like, you know, it's there and it's, it's okay. And, um, you know, I'm just kind of, you know, trudging along with God. And, but it's, it's just kind of boring at times and, and it feels like we're in a rut. And of course, when you think about, you know, something like that on the surface, okay, what do I need to do to, to ramp this thing back up, God? Because this isn't right. That You know, you deserve better than this. We look at the obvious things of, okay, I need to spend more time with you. I need to pray more. I need to read my Bible more. Maybe I need to spend time with some mentors or counseling, that kind of thing. But sometimes, um, you know, even though those things are great, those are things that help, you know, definitely make our relationship with God better and stronger. Sometimes there's things going on that are deep inside of us and, and we don't even know what it is. And we just know that there's something wrong, that there's some kind of barrier or something between us and God. Or there's something that's just causing us not to be able to move forward in our relationship with Him like we want to. And those are the times that we need to do just like this verse is talking about cry out to God and ask him to search us and reveal to us the things that are going on within us that's really just blocking us from having the, the, the kind of straightforward relationship that he wants with us. And, you know, when I was looking at it, I thought, you know, God, this looks like a formula to me almost. It's like when I ask you to reveal and then add on uh, the restoration that you can bring when you've shown your light on, on what's causing the problem, then the, the, that all equals out to just a fantastic enjoyment and a better life, an everlasting life of, of just joy and peace and love and all that you have to bring for us, right? Well, who doesn't want that formula working in their life? I know I do. So let's just remember that when we feel like we're just hitting that, that brick wall with God, all we have to do is cry out, ask Him to come, search us, restore us, and then the sum of that is that fantastic enjoyment that we can have with Him that only He can bring. Let's pray. Lord, thank You that You're there to work out that formula in our life, and all we have to do is ask. And Lord, I just pray that as people are listening to this, they're, they're, they're asking You to search them and reveal and restore uh, things in their relationship with You so that it can be bigger and better than it's ever been before. And we thank you that you're there to do that for us. In Jesus' name.